Hello guys, you are watching VG Vintage Genetics, here to spread the message of classic bodybuilding and the art of the golden era. And today we'll be doing exercises that are brought back to the very basics with simple principles behind them and I'll explain them to you in this video. And we are training arms today, starting out with the largest part of the arm the triceps and ending with biceps you know usually I like to do supersets but for a while I'll, I'll be prioritizing triceps first because I want to build the most mass there first so we're starting out with an exercise that targets the long head of the tricep the overhead dumbbell extension is great for this and uh, the long head of the tricep is basically the part of the tricep that gives you that sweep downwards when you do a front double biceps for example but overall it just gives your arm a thick full look which is what I'm looking to improve now what I like to do is stretch the muscle out a lot especially when doing overhead tricep exercises like this you can use a higher weight and heavier weight and you don't put as much stress on the joints when you don't completely lock out and the constant tension on the triceps is very beneficial to make them grow which is exactly what we want so go down as low as you can feel the burning stretch and then go back up keep constant tension on the muscle and then we move on to another basic yet very effective exercise the French press and there's an inclined version of this as well which gives you a slightly better stretch but this time we are supersetting the French press with a close grip press so I'm using a flat bench this time and the French press hits the long head of the triceps again like the first exercise but the close grip press that you're seeing right here it's the medial head which also gives your arm that thick look and I've actually got this idea of supersetting these two years ago from Ronnie Coleman actually a bodybuilder with one of the best tricep developments of them all mainly the long and medial head and when I tried it out I fell in love with it so definitely give this one a shot you can really feel the triceps burn especially when you're performing those last few reps of the presses it's an all-round great exercise for developing the triceps and it's one of my favorites for sure now it's time to do some squeezing so first we focused on the stretch with heavier exercises and now it's time to hit the small head more of the triceps which is done best by contracting it hard and this particular exercise is great because you know it's a great transition from the previous exercise as we're still targeting the whole triceps here but this time including the small head of the triceps a lot more by squeezing as hard as we can at the bottom and the underhand grip really changes the way this exercise feels you know the regular tricep push down to me actually feels less effective than this one but that's my personal opinion I feel the stretch at the top better here and especially the contraction is insane so just you know just watch your wrists though and don't go too heavy right away because it is heavier on the wrists that would be the downside of this exercise then my favorite exercise for the small head the rope push down and the benefit this exercise has over any other is that the rope allows you to move your arms freely so you're able to now move your arms outwards independently and this in turn allows you to contract the small head a lot better and really making the exercise all about that part of the tricep so what I like to do is move the weight a little slower on the eccentric part of the movement but push down 
harder on the concentric movement. I feel a very good contraction right where I want to feel it this way and you can tell the weight is a little too heavy when you're not able to fully extend your arms at the bottom of the movement. So just lower the weight if you can't because it's the very bottom that this exercise is all about. The squeeze. Now it's time for biceps guys, time to get Mount Everest peaks on them. And what exercise would be more suited to achieve this goal than a super exercise like the close grip bicep curls. That's right, close grip emphasizes the outer head of the bicep a little more than the regular curl. and the outside part of your bicep is the part of the bicep that enhances your peak and to me it's important to really squeeze very hard at the top which is why you see me pause for half a second there I really want to feel that peak contraction in my biceps before I move the weight back down you really don't need a heavy weight on this one if you aim to do it 100% right and when going down make sure that the bicep is fully extended before you go back up full range of motion is important to prevent injury and most importantly for us it stimulates the muscle in the most effective way causing hypertrophy also known as muscle growth tension guys that's what you gotta feel in those biceps to make them grow And speaking of tension, we are shifting the angle of the close grip curl in this next exercise to an even harder version. I call it the hanging close grip curl, but it isn't really a dead hang. It's almost, almost straight down. And the important word here is almost because we want to keep the tension on the biceps during this exercise and a dead hang would remove the tension at the bottom. The shift in angle here means there's also a shift in the area where most of the tension occurs in the bicep. It's also more difficult now to contract it at the top, but still make sure to squeeze as hard as you can and force your biceps to grow peaks on them. And it's funny that even with such a light weight, you really can make it difficult on yourself by forcing your own muscles to contract harder than necessary. The light weight ensures a constant full range of motion and allows you to get the most out of the exercise. So I recommend starting out light and just go heavier whenever you can. And then an exercise I've only recently been doing, the concentration hammer curls. And the main benefit of hammer curls is that first of all, they target your forearms a lot, but more importantly, they stimulate the layer of muscle beneath your bicep heads. And when that layer of muscle grows, your entire bicep will look thicker when viewed from the front. And um, this is something I have been lacking mainly due to having long arms, but slowly and surely it's catching up. The reason I chose concentration hammer curls and not regular ones is because I've previously injured my right bicep tendon when I did heavy hammer curls and for some reason when doing them like this I don't feel any pain or any sign of injury at all. You know, normally I would start feeling some kind of irritation by contracting really hard during regular hammer curls, but now I don't feel it at all, so I'll definitely keep doing them like this. And we're moving straight over to one of the best isolation exercises for the biceps, the famous Arnold Schwarzenegger exercise, the dumbbell concentration curl. And you can do this either standing or seated, and I chose seated this time because I did the previous exercise standing. And seated allows you to focus on the contraction just a little more. And to be able to contract real hard, you cannot pick a heavy weight. Isolation exercises should never be heavy in my opinion. Uh, use a full range of motion on this as always. Try to keep contracting the bicep when, when going down. 
This gives a unique feeling that separates this exercise from many others. And it really is an old school exercise that you should put in your arm workout, your arm training for sure. Great for splitting the bicep heads and building up that bicep peak. And then it is time to check the shape of the body and that's done best by doing some poses on the lighting of the gods. So I recently posted a short video on my Instagram at GymTimeWes performing some of the classic poses and I asked if people were interested in me doing a small video series about classic posing and it seems lots of people are interested to so expect to see this video series coming to you in the near future. You know, posing has many benefits like improving your mind-muscle connection, showcasing your strengths, your weaknesses and especially for competitive bodybuilders Practicing classic posing gives them the opportunity to showcase their physique in the best possible way on stage. You know, some poses fit you better than others and it's just a fun process to finding that out, at least it is for me. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, expect more videos coming your way and do not forget to stay golden. Lohim Aron asks, what exercises can I implement to target my outer quad sweep? And what I suggest that you do is learn how to do the Tom Platt's hack 